Very interesting. Increasingly, even conservative legal scholars are saying that Trump, based on the Constitution, should be disqualified from even being president again, separate from him being able to win or his legal troubles should be disqualified constitutionally from being president of the United States again. And I'll show you a clip of one legal scholar making that case in a moment on CNN. But first, reporting from CNN, prominent conservative legal scholars are increasingly raising a constitutional argument that 2024 Republican candidate Donald Trump should be barred from the presidency because of his actions to overturn the pre uh, previous presidential election result. The latest salvo came Saturday in the Atlantic Magazine from liberal uh, law professor Lawrence Tribe and J. Michael Luddig, the former federal appellate judge and prominent conservative who argued the 14th Amendment disqualifies the former president from returning to the Oval Office. So based on the 14th Amendment, applied to what Trump did in his attempts to overturn the 2020 election results, and not to mention just as a bonus him calling for the termination of the Constitution, but we can ignore that. Uh, he should be disqualified from being president again. And what it will have to decide is what this language means. It's pretty obvious what it says. In fact, when it was written, Abraham Lincoln was no longer president. We had a president who didn't believe in the 14th Amendment, Andrew Jackson. They weren't going to rely on him and his Justice Department to decide who should be convicted of insurrection. That's beside the point. So it's important to see what happens in all of these 91 pending charges of crime against the former president. But whatever happens in those cases, this disqualification, like the disqualification of someone who was not a natural born citizen, or the disqualification of someone who doesn't meet the age limits, has got to be enforced according to its terms. For a very long time, Americans didn't take this seriously. But now that scholars have begun to look at it, and as the judge says, I've looked at it for a long time, it's impossible to disregard. We have That is really interesting. Now, I think, I'm not a constitutional expert, I think first and foremost, and just wish all of America could accept this, at least in the eyes of the American people, Trump should be disqualified. People shouldn't vote for him because of what he did, separate from the constitutional argument. But if you do read the 14th Amendment, uh, Section 3, no person shall be a senator or representative of Congress or elector of president, vice president, or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution, the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two thirds of each house, remove such disability. And so the argument would be the rebellion slash, slash insurrection against his constitutional oath uh, based on his actions to overthrow a free and fair election and the aid and comfort he gave to the insurrectionists on January 6th is enough to disqualify him. I don't see that happening as I try to be transparent with y'all on every story. Um, very, 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 very <laughs> unlikely that would actually end up disqualifying him and he would be prevented from even running or even being president. But it's an interesting argument and very impactful that even conservative legal scholars, such as the other person who was on the screen, a former judge Luddick, J. Michael Luddick, um, that they're buying into, subscribing to, and advocating for that argument. And it sounds like maybe they're going to try to bring a legal challenge or someone will and see how this plays out in court. And it would be very fascinating to see if you could prove in a court of law that Trump indeed violated his oath and engaged in this type of rebellion against our democracy and our rule of law with his actions uh, attempting to overthrow the democratic process that he was put into power within, as we know to be such a stunning threat to our democracy. And so we'll see how it all plays out. Again, the most important thing for us is just to make sure we do what we can to get people out to vote, to make sure he can't become president again. But would that actually work as an argument constitutionally? Very interesting to see. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.